Hey guys, Jen here. I am making beer soap and I have a new camera angle. I have no idea if we all are going to like it, but we're going to find out. So I'm mixing up my lye solution. I actually um, did, it's about equal parts water and lye. It's just enough water to mix up my lye and the rest of my water will of course be beer for this soap. And then I have my fragrance, liquid oils, all of that. It's kind of out of camera frame um, because of the new camera angle. I'm hoping you guys like it okay. Hold on. Okay, it, it's new, I'm not sure how I like it, we'll see. Now this is going to be pushing it to get uh, all of these oils mixed up with this small amount of lye solution. So I'll probably have to use my stick blender to break down a lot of this. But. This part, we will fast forward until we get to the good part. to mix up our liquid oils that has our additives. I'm going to pour that in. Peeking in our doors. She can go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now soap. You guys have seen me make it many times. This is the fragrance. We always add the beer last. Absolutely love that fragrance. And here is my container of beer. It's still all bubbly and all of that. It's actually cold still. I do not boil it. I do not let it sit out. None of that. You guys have seen me make this enough times to know how I do it. If you're new to my channel, I've made this numerous times. <laughs> Many people ask, what's in this? It's just water. All right, let's get a mold. We'll get this poured. And it's just as simple as that. Thank you. 
this all scraped out. Ugh. Just a minute, guys. Eric, can you get both, please, so I can answer the door? Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> I know, I mean, it has the name on the door. We'll start getting ready for the next one. While I'm waiting for that to set up. Ready for the next one. Get the fragrance. Coconut cabana. It has just a couple of minutes been and I'm going to just take a little chopstick here. Um, yeah. As you can see, no, I don't know to do a chopstick. It's not going to do what I want. Let me get a little spoon. As you can see, this sets up very quickly. I just want to do a light texture across the top. Just like that. All right, guys, I'll bring you back for the cutting. Hi, guys, we are back to cut some soap. I'm gonna do the beer soap first. It's not very exciting. It's kind of just plain. It's been sweating on me a little bit. It's okay. But get this done. And I messaged my customer. They said they wanted it cut in a one inch uh, bars. Still a little soft. Hope you 
hope you guys are all having a good day. We're getting ready to have some pretty severe weather here. So we're trying to get everything done that needs to get done. Not sure if they're going to be sending kids home early or not. So, going to get these soaps cut and be ready for some yucky weather. one of my favorite soaps to make. I think it smells absolutely wonderful. I love the smell of this soap, but not everybody does. I surely do. Doing one inch bars so she gets the most amount uh, out of this loaf of soap. And then we're going to let these sit for about two weeks before I mail them. And then they will finish curing at her place. That's how I do these wholesale orders. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.